Okay, so what is this? A is symmetric, right? So I can do eigenvalue decomposition. So what do I get? U lambda U transpose whole power K over K factor M. Now uh, you have this interesting quantity, right? U lambda U transpose whole power K. Uh, let's do what do you mean by uh, whole squared instead of whole power K. So what is whole squared? U lambda U transpose. What will happen? This U transpose and this U transpose will cancel, right? What do you have? You have u lambda squared. See, lambda is diagonal. When you multiply lambda two times, you get lambda squared. U transpose. Clear? What happens if you take uh, a and multiply it by k? k times u lambda per k u transpose. Right? This is clear. So let's substitute it here. Right? So uh, then the above sum becomes infinity u lambda per k over k factorial u transpose right you agree i can write this as u i can pull the u out of uh, the whole thing right it's independent of k equal to 0 to infinity lambda per k over k factorial times u transpose okay so what is this this is u summation k equal to 0 to infinity. What is lambda power k? Right? Lambda 2 power k, lambda n power k, 0, 0, whole divided by k factorial u transpose. Right? This is how it looks like. Now, uh, I can pull the summation inside. Sum of a matrix is nothing but sum of each individual terms, right? So I can do this. So this is U transpose matrix uh, um, essentially um, what is happening here is you know you have summation lambda 1 power k k factorial. What is that? Huh? Okay, I won't uh, write it here further. So we'll just figure that out here itself. So what is that? If I pull this summation inside, what will happen? Summation k equal to 0 to infinity, lambda 1 power k or k factor. What is that? e power lambda 1, e power lambda 2, e power lambda 3. So you get e power, right? It's an exponential. So essentially, um, what I can actually do is you know, we started with this, right? So e power a, right? So essentially the meaning is it's u, you have a diagonal matrix with e power lambda 1, e power lambda 2, and so on, e power lambda u transpose, okay? That's what the meaning is, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, one last thing um, before we sort of conclude. Any questions? Maybe I'll pause for a minute and then uh, any questions? People use this extensively in, I think, probably in mechanical engineering and uh, control systems, these kind of things, right? Use U, e power 80. Do you agree? So now can you tell me, for example, if I have e power minus a t, a belongs to s. What can you say about this as t goes to infinity? This is a matrix, right? e power minus a t is a matrix. So what happens to this as t goes to infinity? So you should apply this now. You'll have, instead of lambda 1 power k, you have lambda 1 t whole power k, right? See so the diagonal, what do you have? So, okay, so I think uh, you have minus, right? You'll have minus lambda 1. It'll be e power minus lambda 1 power k, t power k.